uh, it's not healthy to carry around grudges. And it makes you feel good sometimes, yeah, too. Yeah, it feels real good. And I it agree. feels real bad to keep that hate and anger inside of you. It festers away, and you think of, well, if he says this, then I'm going to say that. And, hmm, fuck him. And he shouldn't have done this. Well, I shouldn't have done that. But, yeah, but I only did that because he did this. <laughs> and you, play, you, you have these little stupid arguments in your head. Instead of just saying hi and just be, being friendly I, or saying you're sorry or saying, hey, man, I don't, I don't have a problem with you. I, I, there's a guy that um, a few years ago I, I drove my car on the, on the street in Montreal. It's like in, in the evening. I see a tall guy coming at me, and he asked for, he begged for money. Put down my window. This guy, I swear it's, tr- it's true story, is a guy that used to bully me in school. Whoa. I say... I don't want to say his name, but I say, hey, wait a second, I park my name. I park my car, I park the car, go talk to him. I say, what the hell are you doing here, man? He's like, and, uh, and he thought I would be angry because when he see me, he saw his reaction, he's like, like, shoot, like now I'm world champion, you know, right. like I, I can beat, uh, beat him up, you know? Right. Back in the day, he was like three years older than me, was bigger, he was beating me up in the bus, this guy. Now he see me, he's like kind of a scare. I get out of my car, he don't know, he don't know if he should run or not. So I go to him, I say, I said, what you do here, man? He's like, he's like, you're, you're, he's like, yeah, I know, but things doesn't go well for me, you know? I'm like, I was like, all right. He's like, he's like, man, you're a tall guy, you're good looking. He's like, what you doing here, man? He's like, I give him what I have left on me, you know? Like, I don't remember, like, like a hundred something. Or I give him, I say, get out of here, man. He's like, you're full of potential. He's like, get out of here, man. Like, when I was young, when I wanted to be like you, you're a tall guy, man, you you you're good looking is like full of potential so he so i shake his eyes like no, no problem and then he say thank you george uh, you get out then i don't talk, i don't hear about him few few weeks few months later i go to my parents house for having uh, dinner then my dad say hey, you know who come to the house uh, a few days ago this guy i'm like yeah i met him he said yeah he said you met him in the street but now he said he came to thank you. He came, he wanted to talk to you, but I said, you don't live here, and I didn't want to give you a number, but he said, he said, look, he said, hey, George, he talked to me, and he said, so he changed my life. Now I have a job, and I and I feel good. I just want to say thank you to him. And it felt so good. Wow. Like, just when I, when I met him, and I didn't yeah. get angry at him, like, yeah. because it's it was still there. He did very bad stuff to me when I was young, but when I see him, it made me feel good, kind of a relief now. Yeah. And... This guy, when I was young, he was beating me up in the bus all the time. He was ridiculizing me. Ridiculize me. I had like Adidas pants that you can tight like this. It was like <laughs> taken off. So I was like an underwear in front of everybody, in front of the girl. He was beating me up all the time. And he was stronger than me. He was like three, four years older than me. And he was tall and strong guy. He's a hockey player back in the day. And I, I couldn't beat him. Even with martial art, he was always stronger than me. He hurt me a lot like back in the day. So... My dad, one time, I was got beat up in the bus. So I told him because I came back with a black eye. One time in my life, I told my dad what happened. I never said anything, but I said my dad. I said, yeah, he's a guy in the bus. He beat me up. I said, I tell him the name of the guy. So my dad, what he did, he he, he found out where, where I'm from countryside. So everybody knows who everybody lives. He goes to the house. You know, I can talk, talk to the dad. He say, listen, uh, t- stop. Uh, can you tell your son to stop? hitting my son in the bus because he need to be focused on the school. And the dad, when my dad came back, he said, hey, I want to talk to his dad, he's gonna stop. So he said that his dad was like drinking and stuff and he was beating the shit out of his son. Oh. So the way this guy learned to communicate to his dad was beating him up, he was drunk and beating him up. That's the way he, commu- he was communi- communicating with me. He was beating me up because he, he learned the, the same way from his dad to communicate. Oh. So I was just happened to be at the right, right, the wrong time at the right time in his life at the perfect, you know, I was the guy that was getting beat. So when you say good and bad, he was not a bad person. 